and it's coming out and we're getting some shots at it. And so we need to keep riding that. Um, you know, so a lot of good things, a lot of positive things. Um, it just could be more exciting to, to have that kind of win and, and to put us to 10 wins. That's a, that's a nice spot for this, this time. We kick it into the fourth quarter, and now it's finish time. And now we got to do our job. We, we haven't really done anything yet, uh, but the finish is there for us. And, and uh, with four games left, we got to make some noise and see if we can finish this thing up right. To get Chris and Richard built the shotgun like that in the same game, just how big that was. awesome. Over. Yeah, that was so much fun to see those two guys battling out. I get Chris got 100 and, and uh, Sean got 70 something, you know, and, and that was fantastic. I thought Rashad looked so fast tonight. He just looked so explosive. And uh, the screenplay was a beautiful call and beautiful execution, but it just showed that, that burst that he has and why uh, well, it's so exciting. Was really that the plan? A lot tonight. Just, just kind of that, that package seemed like it really had a lot of success. He was enjoying yeah, well, we ran it a lot. It was just you know, a big part of the running game. And, and uh, so he was a big part of his 40 something runs in there. So he, he got some activity tonight. Was that split Penny and Carson the plan, or after Carson got hurt? Yeah, did you guys keep at, there's no plan on this one. They're just playing. And then when we see how the game goes, we might give the guy a few more here, a few more there. Um, it's, we don't know, you know, because they're both really good. We love them, and we just play them. Chris is the starter, and so so he winds up getting some more carries. But uh, they're playing as one, two, and I don't know who's one, I don't know who's two. They're doing great. Carson obviously checked out okay with what yes. was. The, yeah. Did you check him for a concussion or what was the? Yeah, he went through the whole protocol and the whole yeah. thing, and, and he was clear and, and all that. So um, I didn't see the hit on that one, uh, but um, it was it was worthy of that kind of consideration. And fortunately, they went through the whole thing. I think took him in the locker room and all of that, and, and he was fine. How much goes into your decision to call a fake punt? What are your factors? I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> With all due respect for, I'm sure this is a very uh, well thought out question. I'm not telling you, <laughs> but I sure like the way it was executed. You guys did it beautifully, and the timing was exactly right. Uh, great job by Brian Schneider and, and Larry Izzo to, to come up with the idea and the thought of it. And then for the guys to execute, that's a lot of people that are involved with getting that done and a lot of communication and all that. But uh, that's all you got. How much? How much does a penalty-free day on offense contribute to a good down third? Yeah, I mean, I don't even know. There's not been very many times like that. Now, I think we had one penalty tonight. Is that what, no one, no one penalties on offense. Yeah. Just the defense one. Yeah, um, I'm not quite sure what got into us on that one, but we like it. It was great. You know, it was a really clean game and a really fast game too. It seemed like the game flew by tonight. But with that on third, you guys were.